Folks, Joe DeRosa here from the Taste Buds Podcast. You want to see me on the road? Come see me. I will be in Austin, Texas at the Creek and Cave, May 20th, 20th and 21st. That's four shows only. I'm going to be doing more dates coming up soon. Unfortunately, I had to cancel my West Coast date, so I will not be performing in Irvine, California, or in San Diego now as I was supposed to in April. But come see me in May at... The Creek and Cave in Austin. I promise I will make up those West Coast dates as soon as humanly possible. And if you are in the New York area, come to Joey Roses at 174 Rivington Street. We are open Tuesday through Sunday. Get a drink, get a sandwich, get both. Have a good time. Uh, if you want to know about my show dates, go to joederosainfo.com. If you want to know about Joey Rose's info, you go to joeyrosesnyc.com. I hope that's not too confusing. At Joe DeRosa on Instagram and Twitter. I'm talking to you directly. I'm coming on tour, and I don't always do it, so you got to come see me, and here we go. April 15th and 16th, I will be in Louisville and Evansville. April 23rd and 24th, I will be in Tulsa and Oklahoma City. Beacon Theater, New York City, first time, May 14th. There's going to be some surprise guests there, and that's all I could say, but you do not want to miss that. And then I'm going out west. Callie, I'm finally coming to you. I'm going to be in San Diego on May 21st and at the Wiltern Theater in Los Angeles for the first time ever on May 22nd. Every Everything is available right now at SavileCanoComedy.com, you little bitch. Taste buds, they come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic, I'm talking taste buds. Taste buddies, welcome to T-A-S-T-E Buds. Woo! Good to be back, It's baby. good to be back. It feels so good to be back. Let the ladies and ladies and ge- gentlemen, gentlemen, introduce to do- 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 <laughs> I walked out of my, bill, uh, my, my door the other day, and my neighbor, I heard just loud, loud. And, and when I got up to his door, when I was passing his door, he was just blasting Eminem yeah. and just singing it. But like with gusto. Is that bad? No, and then he was coughing. Like you know how big Biggie Smalls coughs in the beginning of an like an interlude. Yeah, it's pretty. Like, it's, oh. it's gross. The he was thing? coughing. Yeah, like, he was yeah, intermittently yeah. Cough, coughing like that and singing Eminem. Oh God. Yeah. Has that right. ever happened to you? Have you ever been caught singing publicly? Oh yeah, many times, many times. Uh, it's a little weird, but like I don't care. I air guitar often when I walk. <laughs> What? <laughs> you said that like it was so normal. It's I, not. No, I know it's not. I'm saying like I don't. Like, <laughs> you just you just walking down the street like. If I'm listening to if I'm listening to something like that, sometimes I will like air guitar. So, I'll, like, do you air know drum. how to guitar or no? A little bit, like no, 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 no. But I mean, you do then or you don't. I could, you know you you could play chords and you could play a song. Yeah, I can. Oh, I can't. Yeah. Do that. I used okay. I used to play a little guitar. I oh, would okay. call myself a guitarist, but I was capable enough. So when you do the air guitar, is it just like I would do it, or is it based on actual chords? <laughs> I, I assume I'm doing something that's reasonably, or, you know, like really? accurate, I guess. Oh, you think when guitarists do air guitar, they're using chords? I'm like looking I think at V. So. V is here today and she's behind a tripod. So like, I, I don't know. I should, I'd so. love to go to the air guitar um, I was gonna. I, so I was going to, in my bar back in the day, I was going to host the Battle of the Air Bands. I had this whole thing planned, man. It was going to be a tournament. It was going to be a cash prize. And I, and I was going to sync up with this band that already exists called the Budos Band. They're, my, they're a great funk band from Staten Island. They like tour the world. They are amazing. And I don't. I don't do any of that. But I was going to be the, the lead singer. And I, you have to lip sync, too. Sure, yeah. And that never came to fruition, but... <laughs> Uh, it's never too late. I don't think there's any age cap. Like they they were on stage once at a sold out show, and I I begged them if I could come on stage and play with them. And well, they're my friends; they're all from the the neighborhood and stuff. And uh, I, they said, "What are you going to play?" And I said, I'll, "I'll play the spoons." They're like a like a, they were at one point like a twelve piece band, horns, brass section, everything. And I got up on a sold out show, and I just started. They set up a low mic, <laughs> like a low like thigh level mic, and I just started slapping the spoons against my leg. Now I don't think I was contributing much there, but. Mark my words. I'm saying it here right now. So, new Salsa Windfall record coming very soon. The first, if if we do a video, if we do a video, the video will be four very old men air banding the song. Uh, that's what it'll be. Oh, wow. Like that's four fun. Elderly oh, that's so fun. Did you just think of that right now? I did. 10%. I, 
<laughs> you got to put me in. I need to film that. Yeah, yeah. That's of such course. a fun idea. Yeah. yeah, it'll be four old men. That's a fun idea. <laughs> it is, right? Yeah. That's going to be the video, everybody. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, anyway. American Rob Messel named Air Guitar World Champion. Um, by the way, what does that come with? Does that come with a cash prize? Please, continue. I think you do get a prize. Yeah, I guess so. Right? There's got to be oh, something. How much do they make right here? What there it is. Air Guitar there it is. Champion win. Custom made guitar. Oh my god! Made by Brian May from Queen. That's pretty cool. Wait, 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 what sentence are you oh, wait, reading? What sentence are you one, reading? Wait, I'm sorry. One year, Brian May League of donated. Oh, donated a Vox BM. Sp okay, Brian May donated a prize one he year. He donated an amplifier. You said he built and donated a guitar. I was trying to put the two sentences together I understand. the way I wanted them I understand. To I'm just trying to get. I'm just trying to. Where did this guy come from? Oh, my God. What? Oh no! Related to air guitars, I thought they made ninety five k a year for a minute. I was like, I'm about to quit. Wow! <laughs> this was brought here a while back. I don't know. Who, I don't know. Who is this? The guy again? It's from an R.L. Stein book from Goosebumps. Yeah, it's from Goosebumps. He's the. You know that? Yeah, Night of the Living Dummy. This is he is the star. But I forget the dummy's name. But this is the most famous of the R.L. Stein. You know, monsters. Is that correct? Yeah, that's his banger. So yeah. R.L. Stein, I know that he's world famous, right? He. For scaring children. For ch children's books. But how do you know what that is? Uh, I hang around a lot of kids, and okay. we talk. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. 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 Kids are always welcome down at Joey Rose's. That's at 174 Rivington. No ID necessary. Sandwiches in the back. That's not true. <laughs> uh, we had to make a. We had to make a merch. Speaking of merch, <laughs> no, 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 we'll we'll do it. Okay, uh, we'll do it. Yeah, we'll do it off. Uh, but we got to make one that says "Children are always welcome." No, no, answers. we're not yes. making that. We're not making yes. that. Yes. The uh, yes. <laughs> this guy. How do I know it? Games this, in the front, sandwiches in the back. I, I I'm a big uh, horror fan, as you know, and I know who R.L. Stein is just by proxy of being a horror fan. Even though he's a little after my time. But I knew what Goosebumps was when I was a you know teenager. I'd heard of it. it was, I was a little too old for it. But as I got older, I started writing. I write. I've had. I've been. I don't know if you know this. I've had horror fiction. I've written published. Like I did not know that it has happened. And I started trying to sell. I'm still trying to sell it. I'm trying to sell a, a children's horror book because it's like my huh. favorite thing was as a kid. I loved it. Right, like R.L. Stein. Yeah, a little scarier, but yes. So when I started putting that together. I went and started watching R.L. Stein, Goosebumps, and Are You Afraid of the Dark, which was the Nickelodeon sort of equivalent of that sure. show. And I learned all about the R.L. Stein characters. You started watching it? Or was it a cartoon? It was a... Uh, no, no, no. It's, they, well, he wrote books, and they made a live-action series called Goosebumps. Oh. And the most famous Goosebumps episode or character was called Night of the Living Dummy, and it was this guy. There is that his him right there? Is, um, I forget his name, though. Slappy? Slappy, that's right. That's his name? That's Slappy? Yeah, yeah. That's pretty funny, man. And he is pretty creepy. He's pretty creepy. Is that? Guy. Let me see. Does that jaw move? Is that like a pull the back yeah. and he talks? Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> Oh, wow, that's creepy as shit. He's got a smooth head. I like rubbing his smooth head. <laughs> I think my favorite Sit thing... Sit him up here. My favorite thing about R.L. Stein is that in the movie, he was played by Jack Black. Yeah. R.L. Stein was played by... What? Slappy was I, played by Jack Black? Oh, R.L. Stein. No, but Slap, Jack Black was also Slappy's voice. Oh, really? Yes. But he wait, was he the whole movie. That was great. Yeah, but yeah. wait, why, why is Jack Black playing R.L. Stein in the movie? Isn't R.L. Stein the author? They did a Goosebumps movie where, like where like yeah, where they made it like uh, a, they made it like R.L. Stein was this guy whose books actually came to life, and you know they did a hyper reality version. What of do you it. think the best like kids movie of all time was to you? Horror, either anything. <laughs> well, to find kids because Goonies. Like, uh, I think uh, Goonies is kids to me. Yeah, Goonies is tremendous. Obviously, I think the Dark Crystal is a masterpiece. Oh, uh, Dark Crystal was great. The it's secret of Jim Henson. It's a really creepy Jim Henson. The secret movie. of uh, Dark Crystal was amazing. The secret of N Nim. That's a great one. Yeah, yeah. Labyrinth is great. How about shout out Never Ending Story, bro? Uh, Never Ending Story. Remember Turn Hook? around. Yeah. Did, did, does Hook hold up? Uh, so I'm told that people yeah. love Hook to pieces. It holds up, and it's a traditional classic. I have never seen Hook. I don't what? think it holds up at all. I think it's very. It's. Hook is really at the very beginning of like the schmaltzy Robin Williams era. Yeah. 
And I think that that really bleeds through. That, that said, there's wonderful performances in the movie. I, I just, I'm not What's schmaltzy. I've never heard that schmaltzy. Schmaltzy. Schmaltzy like, is like like uh, like uh, like maudlin, like like uh, indulgently emotional. Okay. Like oh, like wow. the Robin Williams movie, like Bicentennial Man, like all that stuff he yeah. did, where it was like I Patch put, Adams, maybe? Patch Adams, oh, you yeah, know that kind of stuff. Much. You know, a lot of know, movies don't Hulk hold, hold up. up. I don't know. What happens is you see it then, you're, attra- you're, you're attached to the nostalgia of it, and you're attached to how you felt the first time you saw it. That happens with everybody. Everybody thinks their shit oh is still the best. Wait, scroll up. Wait, stay there. Is there is Rich Voss one of the Lost Boys? <laughs> Look at the guy. Look at the guy with the plug. It's Voss. <laughs> oh, oh, that's him. That's him. <laughs> Wait, right there? <laughs> right there. <laughs> Look, it looks just like Oh him. my god, that's uncanny. Wait, those are all the lost boys now? Yeah, that's them like grown up now. <laughs> Shout out Rich Voss. I love Rich Voss. I love Bonnie him. as well. We love him. I just spent a week with Rich at South by Southwest. Oh. And man, it was so fun. I went, so I did a bunch of shows in Philly, and then I would shout outs Philly, Punchline, Philly, Philly Punchline. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing shows. Amaz- How many clubs would do this, by the way? Amazing shows. My whole family comes in for the Saturday early show. I talked to my mom the next day. She goes, Did you pick up our tab? And I go, I was like, Oh shit, I should have, and I didn't. <laughs> and I was like, No, mom, I'm sorry. And she goes, Well, somebody did. The club paid for my whole family's tab. They didn't even tell me. They and just did it. They didn't get tipped for it either. What do you? Oh. Mean? Yes. What do you mean they didn't get tipped? Should we call them? <laughs> you didn't even know there was a bill, so how would how'd you didn't tip on the bill? No, my family left it. They got a bill that said this has been taken care of. Thank you. Oh, they and your left family it. left a tip. I'm sure they did. Well, why don't we get on the phone and find out? <laughs> right, right. But I think dude, that's. I think that's. I think that is the. The top move right now in the podcast is to get them on. There's nothing you can really say that's going to top that suggestion. Let's get your mom on the phone. Ask what they tipped. I don't want to get her on the phone. Let's get her on the phone. Let's find out what they ate and what they tipped on oh top of Oh, my God. It. Can we please do a mother battle where you bring your mom in? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> do my, we mom, my mom will battle. Not his mom, but my mom in general just battles do anything. Try calling her? Every sentence that comes out of her mouth is a battle. Do you want me to try calling her? Call her. Call her, yeah. I could be like, look up. She's like, that's not up. Yeah, no, I know. I'm right. hyped for that episode now. I'm familiar. Yeah. Mother's Day is coming up. Please. Oh, my God. How what about we it? each battle our own mom on it? No, you That'd swap moms. It'll be a two-part episode. <laughs> Hold on, I'm calling. All right. She's dodging your calls? They might be out for the day. Really? Take a day trip. They're out gallivanting? <laughs> <laughs> really? They're out traipsing about Sometimes town. Sometimes they take a day trip. Hi, Sam. Hello, how are you? Hi, how are you? Very well, very well. So I was I was telling the story how you guys all came out to the early show if the family left a tip. Yes, we did. All right. Excellent. So that's that's base one covered. We weren't sure because he said the cl- how nice it of the club to 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 comp it. And I said, oh my god, if they comped it, and nobody knew. Then they didn't even get tipped. And and he said that you did tip. And then he said, well, let's get him on the phone and say hello. See how much they tipped. <laughs> and then also on a scale of one to ten, what they thought of Joe's set. <laughs> they, this... <laughs> Go ahead, mom. <laughs> I don't know how much the other guys laid on the table, but they put something out there. That's my dad, by the way. That's yeah, of course. I said, go ahead, mom, and then my dad. <laughs> the, uh, no, dad, would you say, you? but you left a tip. You don't have to get into how much. And then what did you think of the set? The set was very good, Joe. Yeah, it was I mean, fantastic. Yeah, you know, after all that time you've been away, I mean, we thought it was really good. And, you know, your stage presence and everything was just fantastic, you know. And uh, just like I said in my evening, I text my message. I said, you still got it, and you haven't lost it. So, you know, you really... I love it. All right. I love you guys. So, wait, wait. Thank so, Joe, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> So, I, I love that. I love it to pieces. Uh, me and Joe have been performing together a lot. I love his set, too. He does have some dark material. You guys, like, you guys are able to find the humor in his dark stuff? The what? We can't hear you. Go ahead, say it again. Sorry. I said he does He does have some dark material. Are you guys able to find the humor then in, like, the darker stuff he does? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're, you know, yeah. We're not, yeah. We're, we're Sometimes not. I think just like him. 
<laughs> first three times we sat in his audience, right? He was kind of a little gun shy to say, because he would say, you know, my mom and dad are in the audience, so i got to be careful what I say, but no, don't hold anything back. He never does hold anything back, you know, so that's great. You know? Wow, yeah, you just you. let it fly. Thank you. All right. Should we ask what he what ate as a child? Should we get some? Today? <laughs> what, Mom? What are you guys comparing today? First, the, the episode we're about to do right now is chicken fingers versus hot dogs. So... Can you guys each tell me what you would choose each if you had to choose between chicken fingers or hot dogs? Well, if it's Joe's dad, he's going to pick hot dogs. Yeah, my favorite <laughs> hot dogs. No, all right. I go for hot dogs. The, the, the uh, ballpark Franks, all natural beef hot dogs, great. That's my favorite. All right. And, Mom, what about you? Chicken fingers. Yeah, I chicken fingers. All right. Uh, all right, look at that. Well, I am taking chicken fingers today, and uh, Joe is taking hot dogs. Yes, yes. yes. And then, Good. pimp, pimp our producer before we go. Wants to know. Ask them. Ask them what what food they've seen you eat the most in your life. What food have you seen me eat the most in your life? My life, your life, our lives. Take <laughs> a lobster. St- wow <laughs> Jesus And you have the Unmitigated gall To come on here And taunt me To think I'm better Than everybody else And you're eating Surf and turf As a toddler <laughs> Jesus Christ what they, what, I mean look, I mean What You're exposed <laughs> What mom Muscles and clams Yeah muscles and clams too. Wow. I never liked Even as a kid I wasn't big into sweets I liked I liked muscles like the clams. Yeah I liked like <laughs> 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 yeah, what? What top? What kids bringing a, a brown lunch bag full of clams to school? <laughs> it's like you and Norton. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. What, mom? He was little, and I used to take him shopping. I used to have to go to the lunch weekend and get him ham. <laughs> <laughs> like to eat on the spot, you mean? Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't want the candy. I can imagine you at the like the lunch table in the cafeteria and people are like, yo, can I get, you want to trade? Can I get a half of that turkey sandwich? And like, what do you have to offer? And you're like, fucking fresh clams, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Sh- I just shucked them. But it is true. I always had a propensity for, for cold cuts from a young age. <laughs> yeah, cold well, cuts. Also, too, we argued last week corned beef versus, corned beef on rye versus ham and cheese. And Sal couldn't believe that I loved corned beef on rye since I was a kid. Yeah. yeah. And I told the story of you taking me to Bain's Deli at the King of Prussia Plaza Food Court and g- giving me my first corned beef on rye. Remember that? That's right. Yeah. All right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that is. Well, All you're right. an odd duck. I am. I am. I, I am. All right. I love you guys. I got to go. Oh, 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 Joe was staying with us one night, right? And it was about 11.30, and just, I'm hungry. So, so what do you feel like? I don't know, I want to go get some clams. He said, so we traveled about three different stores to go find some clams. <laughs> <laughs> just sending your parents on a multiple stop goose chase? At what she- age? At what age? No, this is like a year ago. So. <laughs> this is like, I wasn't. Wait, why are they driving you around to find clams? I didn't have a car <laughs> down there. I didn't have a car, so my dad had to You don't just eat what's in the house? So Listen, and also he was had a hankering for chocolate cake, something with chocolate, chocolate icing, right? We must have went through five different stores. Finally, we found this. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, thank you for this. I love you guys. I love you too. All right. Have a good I'll show. talk to you guys right. soon. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Well, right, coddled, was- fancy pants Joe. <laughs> Just being ushered around, just driven around like Miss Daisy to find surf and turf and shellfish at a late hour. He always says you're on your cloud, Sal. Yeah, you always say like you always say dude, like I like this this fucking t-shirt is 15 years old. Your your your, your mother's liquefying steak and, and and lobster in a blender and giving it to you in a bottle as a as a 24 month old. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> can't argue Quick yeah. shout out before we continue. This artwork is unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. We got a, a beautiful, I guess that's an oil, acrylic or oil painting. So. That is gorgeous. Let me find her ad. And uh, <laughs> you see Joe there as the, uh, Ver- what was you, is that Veruca Salt? Who's the, per- who's the? Blueberries Veruca Salt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pimp is Oopaloompa. And then we pull in the Seinfeld ref. 
Yeah, you, right? It, that's it, Kramer turkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those are because the turkey reference isn't to Willy Wonka, is it? No, that's what, what are you talking That's Kramer, Kramer. the turkey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What yeah. about that chip witch on the end there? That looks photorealistic. It does. That looks great. Uh, and there's, there's. They even, did, is, it, is she in? Is she? Is it, what, He's what, not what lady this. did this? Uh, Stephanie oh. Traub at S T P H T R A U B 527. Thanks, Stephanie. Stephanie. Uh, I love it. Uh, we we are always taken back by people's talents and 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 your uh, your time to do this for us. It's freaking great. And we're starting a PO box, so if anyone else wants to add to the correct, all our work welcome. We got some bangers, so we yeah. love it. But that is that's something else. The uh, the uh, but I, we should say this probably actually because we are starting a PO box, guys. I'm not being presumptuous. I just have a feeling because people tend to do this. Joe has a feeling. You, send you stuff. And given this is a food show, I feel like that'll be double. Don't send us any food at all. Don't send any. We can't. It's just too crazy of a world. We can't eat it. It's He will, not, he will not share it. <laughs> I don't want you to waste your money and time sending us food and with good intentions when we're not going to be able to eat it. No. Like, don't, don't, just don't send No, food. don't send that. Yeah, actually, just send us proof of the artwork, and then I'll give you the address. Yeah, <laughs> you know, that's. But people will do that. They'll still like like sometimes people will like to like come to a show and bring you like brown. Don't bring par- yeah. People you know, bring like, me food. People like, bring me food, and like they'll come backstage or all like uh, or outside or, or literally they'll have me sitting in their seats, and I see Tupperware, and I'm just like, what's that? And they're like, oh, we baked you, and I'm just always like, like I cannot eat your house food, like you can't bring me something that's not factory sealed. I don't right. know you. Right. I don't know who you are. I mean, thank you. No, I Then know. I always open That's it up saying. and I pass it around the crowd for whoever wants to eat it. And let them. Let them fucking <laughs> drop like flies. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, a, like a dictator would. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just out wipe out the whole three, first three rows. It's like Heaven's Gate. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Um, you d- let, let them eat the yeah, Koresh, factory Koresh sealed food. Factory fine if you want to send yeah. us some candy or whatever. Like you send anything you want. Don't send homemade perishables. But... Uh, so anyway, I, I was saying shouts out to Philly, and then I would, and then I went down to South by Southwest from Philly, and Voss was there. I spent many hours with Voss; had a great time. He's so funny. We we judged roast battle. It was it was me. Oh, it's fun. We did an eleven p.m. roast battle. The judges were Voss, me, Blair Saki, who's the best. She's great, and um, oh god, who was the f- oh and Mike Lawrence, who's fucking hilarious. Oh you know? shit, uh, I haven't and seen we, Mike in a while. It was great seeing him. It was great seeing everybody. We had a, we just had a blast. And then I did a sandwich summit at the Creek and Cave where I hosted a roundtable discussion with three sandwich makers from around Austin, Texas. Uh, I had Joey Rose's shipped in overnight. So those sandwich makers tasted your product? Yeah. And, and then, it was and shipped I overnight. Theirs, it was wild. How it, was, how did it had a fare? It held up. Good. It held up. I mean, obviously, fresh on the spot is going to be better. But right. yeah, there. Oh, look at this. I didn't even know we got press. That's awesome. But yeah, that's a that's a sh- or that's from Daily South by Southwest. But that's the uh, that's a shot from it. Pepitone and Blair sat in to do like co- com- you know color commentary as comics. And dude, it was filled. It was packed. Five p.m. It was awesome. So what we was so much? What was fun. the takeaway? What What did we learn at the sandwich summit? Uh, we We discussed. So this guy in the end. <laughs> What do you mean? What? <laughs> what was it? It was a summit. Yeah, it, was it, was a summit. A, it was a summit. So it's is there a peace good, between all you all now? A fun <laughs> way to say it. But, now this guy in the end, his name is Mo. He has a thing called Jew Boy Burgers in Austin. He talked about his entire Sounds approach delicious. to Burgers. <laughs> Dude, they were unreal. He gave us a run, food. don't walk to Jew Boy Burgers. Yeah, yeah. He gave us a burger that had a knish on it. It was unreal. Oh. It was unreal. I'm telling you. It was Whoa, unreal. Oh, that sounds cool. It was amazing. I want to do a knish battle, but I'm afraid that I found out not a lot of people outside of like, oh, like so good, ma- metropolitan cities know what a knish is. It was so good. And then Derek yeah. has a place called- Do me a favor, but before you continue. If you know what a knish is, and you, or if you don't know what a knish is, sound off in the comments. We want to get a, I want to just get a, a litmus test on whether we should have a knish battle. Um, Derek is the is next to him. He has a play a deli. I think it was called Outside Land Outlands oh, Outer. Oh God, I'm sorry, Derek. I'm blanking on the name of your deli. And then Brian had a place called Bird Bird Biscuit, where everything is served on biscuits. And he brought some of his biscuits. They were unbelievable. What's the, uh, other side deli? That's what uh, Derek's saying. And then Blair Saki and Eddie Pepitone sat in. Sat in, and they were both hilarious. But Eddie is so funny because he kept yelling. 
Like, he, he was like... <laughs> Eddie Pepperton used to live on Staten Island now. Yeah, I know. He's the best. But we would be like, we'd be like, why don't you put tomatoes on your burgers or whatever? And then it would be, Eddie would be like, I'm here to expose the truth. <laughs> Big oil is taking over this country. <laughs> <laughs> he would just keep yelling stuff like that in between us talking about like what our approach to like salami was or whatever. Dude, it was so funny. Eddie man. Pepperton is still one of those guys. I can never pull it off. But even now, he'll wear like a... Like a bowl, like a fedora, and like an earring. Yeah, I know. He's one of those guys that just like till yeah. till 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 the end. He's like that hip cat. Yeah, he's yeah, he's great. And uh, everybody, everybody was it was awesome. It was just awesome. How did you recruit the people for the sandwiches? Who who chose them? The festival sent me a list of people, and we we reached out to people that we thought might be interested, and and those were the three people that responded Sweet. and, and joined. What kind in. of local food did you get into? Just. Well, their their local stuff. It was okay, all like okay. like. So, I mean, off stage. Oh, what like, did I eat? Yeah, how was how was it down? Oh, there? I I took actually did some. I di- I took some selfies and stuff while I was in Philly because I hit a couple sandwich places in Philly. You know what you should do. You know how like they do like the friggin' like pizza bite or whatever. You should you should go to a sandwich place, take a bite, oh, cool. give you a one. I know. Sandwich I'm, I'm going to start doing that. I mean, I don't think that's patented to take a bite. And no, no, no. I'm going to start. I'm going to start doing that. And then we're doing this new house. When you're on the road and shit. Yeah. Th- yeah. We're this, these shots I was doing were kind of the beginning of it. So like, I'm good. We're going to start doing this hashtag that's called Joey Rhodes is. So like when I go on the road and I travel around, I take, you know, I hear this, look at this crazy. How do you sandwich. spell Joey Rhodes is R O A D S E S. Joey Rhodes is okay. Yeah. I can see it. So then like, so like one of the things I did was like che- like was, was the Gino steaks in the airport. I, we haven't posted it yet, but Gino steaks in the airport. And I was like, I was like, this is why we don't do a cheesesteak because the Gino steaks in the Philadelphia airport is making a better cheesesteak than you'll ever have anywhere. Is that right? Yeah. So I'm like, why would we even try to, to go up against it? You know what you do? You write R O as capitals, and then A D little, and then S E S as capitals. So you okay. see the roses. But you oh, see the smart. roses. Oh, you that's know. really smart. I had a scholarship to college. Okay. <laughs> they'll be on my. This is the Jenny's. This is for my thing, though. This the Joey Roses will be on the Joey Roses account. I, I do want to shout out Jenny's because they send me. I love them. They the contact great. me and they contact uh, the people I work with. And they send me Jenny's ice cream all the time. And uh, last year they came out with an everything bagel and cream cheese ice cream. I didn't get it. It was limited edition. It sold out. They came out with it again. They just sent it. Can I tell you? That it is so delicious. It's good. Is it not? It's good. It tastes like an everything bagel with cream cheese, and it doesn't sound like that will be good in an ice cream, and it is so good. It's like, it's good for the same reasons it's good that when you put (laughs) pretzels in ice cream. It's a similar thing, where it's like you're getting like this salty savoriness, but in a creamy ice cream or whatever. But they sent me all these. I had to go dairy-free this time around. Because so you, oh, did you bring me my? You said you were gonna bring me the everything. I forgot. I'm sorry. You son of a man. I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't open my everything this time. I got it last time. Right, but so you I still mean, have it. Yeah. All right. Well, sealed. then next time you see this is me. haunting me though, dude. Like I like like every night I'm like I can't I can't go in after this ice cream again, and every <laughs> night I do. No, I I, I got to do special occasions. I go in on it. They sent me a sheet cake. It was called Texas Sheet Cake. Jenny's did? Yeah, and it was like... It Jenny's w- is getting to the sheet cake? No, 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 no. The flavor of ice cream. Oh! It was called Texas Sheet Cake, and it was chocolate sheet cake flavor. And then it had, like, icing in it. But when you ate the ice cream, the icing was still dripping. I don't know how they do it. It was crazy. Interesting. It was crazy. It was so good, dude. Do you think they're looking for a Taste Buds flavor? Wow. Yo! Jenny's. People tag Jenny's on your socials. Someone send him a clip of this. Yes. Tell him we want to do a taste buds flavor taste with bud them. Taste buds flavor that charity. is based on salty and sweet. Charity? Yeah, a charity flavor based on salty salty and sweet. I think it's, okay, yeah, that's right. right. Salty and sweet. Yeah. Something that combines salty and sweet Yeah. for charity. Yeah. Come on, Jenny's. Come on, Jenny's. We know you want to. <laughs> Jenny's, come on. Hey. I'm the sweet one. (laughs) Oh, man. 
wouldn't that rule if we had a taste buds flavor for Jetties? Yes, it would rule. I mean, honestly, that's like, that's that's why like it, I we, made it. We have to initiate the fan base. Yes. Go to Jenny's. Tell them. To, run. Don't walk to Jew Boy Sandwiches. And also <laughs> t- tell Jenny's that they you guys want to see. No, burgers. Jew Boy Burgers. Oh, what'd I say? Sandwiches. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, you know, and, and if, if they want to check our portfolio, we have our own peanut butter. Yes, we do. And I have my own beer. Yes, you do. And I have my own bar and sandwiches. There it is. It's there all set. We're in this game. We're Hot this dogs. Game. Where, where are we at? Well, uh, right now, like 28 minutes. Let's go to the phones now. <laughs> Let's talk Butcher Box, Sally Babes. Oh, I love Butcher Box, and I'll tell you why, okay? First of all, I like being ethical, right. and they source ethical uh, and sustainable product, yep. uh, which often tastes better when it's that high quality of level. Right. Uh, it makes it easy to prep yep. because I they send me my box. It comes with like 9 to 14 pounds of meat. I throw all that stuff in the freezer, and then whenever I want to pick a protein that I want to cook with that night, I have it in stock. That's not really my mentality when I go to a supermarket. No, I'm not going yeah. and looking up every single type of frozen food, and it's a subscription service, and you can pause it whenever you want. So it's not like you're going to sign up and then get sent stuff when you don't want it anymore. Uh, it's my- Favorite part of Butcher Box yeah. is, the, is personally the steaks. I love that they have, uh, as you said, ethically sourced steak, uh, but also it's you know grass fed and it's affordable and it's wonderful and I, it's just my favorite thing. I love steak and this play this Butcher Box makes it not only affordable to eat steak but also lets you eat steak in the healthiest way possible. Yeah, and I, like you said, the beef is free range. I recently made chicken that was organic. By the way, it was orange. If you're asking, uh, the seafood is wild, and more and more and more every month. Butcher Box ships curated selections of high quality meat right to your home. Free shipping for uh, for the continental United States, uh, and I think you could also customize the box. There are no antibiotics, no added hormones. Uh, eight to fourteen pounds of beef on that mother uh, for twenty four individual meals. They're packed fresh. They're shipped frozen for your convenience. Uh, that's so- it. It's Here's your chance. Thing. If you never had to shop for ground beef again, oh, because of this, the well, deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell them about is, the deal. This is the deal. This is your chance to never have to shop for ground beef ever again. That's right. Butcher Box is giving new members free ground beef for life as long as you stay subscribed. Plus, you get $10 off with a special coupon they're going to send you. So sign up at butcherbox.com slash taste buds and get two pounds of ground beef free in every order for life of your membership. Plus a $10 off coupon. Log on to butcherbox.com slash taste buds. Claim this deal. Joey, you know I have a Peloton since I September. I love it. I use it because it keeps the workouts fresh and exciting to me. Uh, when I'm done with an instructor, I'm like later for you. And then I find a new instructor, and everyone has their own personality, their own work flow. Uh, they mm-hmm. all play different types of music. Mm-hmm. So it's not just getting on the bike to nothing. It's not just getting on the bike to the same workout video day in, day out. It's really cool. You feel like you're part of a community. Um, I'd go as far as to say a new instructor leads to a new you. Oh, we should we should we should call them up and ask them if they want to buy that from I us. Agree. I uh, agree. Peloton's pushing you further. With they have much more now, uh, new on the Peloton bike and the Peloton bike plus new classes, new music, new ways to keep your workouts fun and motivating. They have new additions uh, in 2022. Boxing is on there. They're stepping it up with in ring uh, stuff. Uh, no gloves needed, of course. But uh, if you never boxed before, the classes will have you up and working up a sweat while working on the fundamentals and form of boxing and footwork. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's like I guess it's like almost like a shadow boxing kind of thing. Yes, which is very very cool because then you, nobody gets hurt. Nobody <laughs> gets hurt, just you in the shadow. <laughs> new artist series, music selections. Uh, they're adding new artists all the time. More daily workout variety. It's easier to stick to your goals when you keep workouts interesting. That's true. Peloton has a workout for every day and every schedule. You could de stress from a long day with the thirty minute strength, or you could do twenty minutes of cardio. You could even do a quick t- fifteen minute total body class um, cool. before before work. Even you yeah. could everyone could fit. 15 minutes and stay motivated while having fun with bike workouts, yoga, meditation, dance, cardio, and more. Visit onepeloton.com to learn more. That is O N E P E L O T O N.com. All right, All right, let's go. Let's get into it. Dogs versus chicks. Yeah, and we got a new thing we're going to do. We felt, Sal and I have been talking that we've had some great episodes lately, but we feel that some of the vigor, not vigor, that's the wrong word, the well, venom. The venom has been diffused by the no matter what happens, I love you chance. Now, we still love each other no matter what happens. And we're still going to chant that once in a while because we also have to sell merch. But <laughs> you came today and you wanted to do an anti 
No matter right, what happens. So we got to start doing a chant that spins, that riles us up against each other. So here's what we're going to do. The new chant is, it's time to get salty. <laughs> All right? Now, how this works is, how this works is, we're each, we're going to do it together. Yeah. A la the original chant. Yeah. You say it three times. It's time to get salty. It's time to get salty. It's time to get salty. <laughs> but here's the difference. We take we t- <laughs> salt bay. <laughs> we take turns. Yeah, so we do this chant twice. The no, first time we do it, three. No, no, we do it. No, no, I'm saying we do the. Okay, you say it three times. That's okay. one chant. Okay, but we do the chant twice. The first time we do it, coming off of the third one, one of us insults the other. <laughs> I think you're part Native American with these chants. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we and we stay on that for a minute. Yeah. And then we do it again and the other person gets to insult <laughs> the other. Okay? And then at the end at the end of that minute, at the end of that minute of the second chant, we go right into the battle. Okay. And the way we're gonna time B-A-T-T-L-E this. B-A-T-T-L-E buds. Yes. The way we're gonna time this is this is what the pots and pans are for. We're giving these off to V and Pimp. When we hit a minute on each of these, you gotta you gotta ding ding ding. We're gonna insult the each other for a full minute? Oh, right, you want to make it thirty seconds? Yeah. All right, thirty seconds. Okay. Ready? I thought. I thought no, we're just gonna go I, back I, and forth. I thought they're gonna chant, say an insult, chant, say an insult, and they go B A T T L E buds. And when it's time for the battle, they bang the pots and pans like they do at Pamplona in the running of the bulls or whatever. Okay, so I I wanted you to have a chance to retort to my. I insult. shall. But I I thought that they bang the pots and pans. I think to we initiate. gotta time the the back and forth of the retort because okay. can't, that can't go on for five minutes. No, I thought That's it was like I thought it was like a line. All right, thirty seconds. All ready? Right. Ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, ready? So are you going to insult me first then, okay? Yeah, just to show you right. how it works. All right. All right. All right. So do, are we holding it? No. No, no. no. Ready? All right, yeah. ready? Here you go. Ready? 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 It's, it's, time, time, to to it's, it's time, time to get salty. It's time to get salty. It's time to get salty. Your house rule of taking your shoes off is stupid. Oh, are you serious? Yes. <laughs> well, you would yeah. like to be traipsing around yeah. in cocaine and shit everywhere? Oh, yeah, I'd like to so I'd like to walk like a grown-up through the house. That's Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, give me a break, baby. dude. You we can't, eat here. Because you can't afford a cleaning staff. We, we eat here. We, we sleep, sleep here. here. We eat off the floor. We eat here. We sit here. It's you, stupid. You want to put the soles of your shoes go everywhere on this earth. You want to put them on my carpet? I'm going to tell you something. Are you wild? It influences the interest in a visit. I'm just going to put that out there. Are you it serious? It influences you the interest in a visit. You decide whether you want to come here as to whether you're feeling if you want to remove your shoes. An interest, you're wild. It influences the interest in a visit. Yeah. I'm just going to tell you're, you're, you that. You're, 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 you nobody don't take, likes doing you don't, it. You don't, nobody likes you, doing you it. You don't take your shoes off? <laughs> We've all talked about oh, it. Oh, really? Nobody likes oh, doing it. Really? You all talked about it. Nobody. Behind my back, I had no idea. <laughs> you talked about it? Well, I'm not alone. I'm not alone. I'm in the majority. Most people that are sane people. No. All right. Right, now ah. it's your turn. Now it's your turn. Ready? Oh. <laughs> What's your house like? This fucking Hold on. subway? Don't ruin it. Don't don't ruin it. Ready? Ah. Ready? It's time, it's time to get salty. It's time to get salty. It's time to get salty. You're fucking ridiculous wearing socks that are dry gin socks. <laughs> enough with alcohol. You consume it enough. It doesn't need to be on your fashion. Okay? I put your foot up and I see the word gin. We know you're a drunk. You don't have to advertise it. Your feet aren't billboards. I'm only wearing these socks because I got to wear designer socks every time I come to your house because you're dumb no shoes rule. It's stupid. I wish I could just wear a plain black sock in this place. You can't do it. Everybody's looking at my feet the whole time. You can wear a plain black sock. I'm getting judged on my plain feet black socks are people wear tuxedos. I'm getting judged on my foot fashion in this place. Oh, God. Are you saying that you don't have the confidence as an adult male to reach into a sock drawer and know that whatever you pull out is going to be presentable? No. You I'm walk bl- around with hold socks? A black sock is presentable, but when you're walking around with no shoes on for hours, on end, you gotta have a fancy sock on. A fancy sock? You gotta have a pattern is what I'm saying. So whose house do you go to that lets you walk around with shoes? The animal. Everybody. No, that's not true. <laughs> that's Everybody. not true. You walk around your house, you walk... All right, here we go. B-A-T-T-L-E, buds! All right. You want Hot to... dogs suck! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you got the balls to come on here to try to put the chicken finger against the hot dog. You are insane. Yeah, I think you're insane. I think you're you insane. insane. I think that I think that uh, chicken finger probably stands on the t- upper echelon of everything with pizza, French fries, chicken fingers. It's almost like it's it's you can't beat chicken fingers. Most chicken fingers are bad. Most. 
Most. I'm not exaggerating. Uh, most, we're talking. We're talking f- trash food. We're talking fried food. We're not going to talk bad chicken fingers. No, no, no. Chicken I, fingers are chicken fingers. No, no, no. You're not. You're not. You're not hearing what I'm saying. It's all. I, I get it. It's all barroom food. I'm not saying that chicken fingers should be fancy. I'm saying most chicken fingers are bad because most of the time when you get them, it's too much breading and dry ass chicken. Most of the time, chicken fingers suck. Throw it out the window, right? Because everybody knows that and nobody cares. Chicken fingers checks a box for everyone to see. Same exact way. It's goddamn chicken fingers. I'm not expecting much. Even when it's not that good, it's still kind of good. There's a lot of great dipping sauces. I even get it from fast food restaurants to fancy places. It's it's just chicken fingers. It's good from the kids menu till the people, the old people with no teeth menu. And chicken fingers, there's the no one that does with no teeth menu. Yeah, like chicken fingers. You're it, nuts. That's you chick, can't eat I'm a chicken just saying, finger if you don't have good teeth. Chicken. You got to gnarl through that thing. You know that. Come on, dude. Don't say crazy I'm not going to sit here and go to war about whether you have to gnarl through them at, a, at an older age. All right. All I'm saying is chicken fingers appeals to 99.9% of people. Hot dogs do not. Hot dogs, by the way, are just, I don't even know what's in them, but if I take five guesses, they're all not going to be good. I think it's like, like ass, lips, hooves. Intestines, Look, we all know that and just whole thing. stuff laying around. We all know, listen, we all know that whole thing, but I'll tell you this. <laughs> Hot dogs contain not only some of the most disgusting ingredients turned into a substance resembling pink slime, but also nitrates, which have been linked to type 2 diabetes. Okay. Processed meats, inc- maybe me too, including hot dogs, are also in the same ca- uh, carcinogenic category as cigarettes and increase your risk of cancer. So that just goes along with the hot dog, okay? But honestly, how many how hot, many dogs, hot you- dogs are people eating that they're getting cancer from hot Dude, dogs? Dude, <laughs> if I order a, ch- a chicken fingers, right, I could have six, ten chicken fingers. Right. How many hot ten? Well, depends on the size, right? Like no, they they come in one pretty standard size. Well, helping, I could eat five, right? Okay, helping, yeah. How many hot dogs are you putting down before you just start regurgitating like hot dogs? Unidentified if I, if I, beef. I, if I make, am I making a meal of the hot dogs or a snack? I'm serious. How many for a meal? Am I sitting down for a lunch or dinner? A hot dog lunch or dinner? All right, so one is a snack. Three. You eat three hot dogs. I eat three with if sides. hot dogs is on the is what's on the menu for dinner, you eat three. I eat three with sides. Three with sides. Three with sides. So you're gonna eat one with a side, another with a side, and no, I'm saying I put I make three hot dogs and then I have baked beans and fries or whatever I have. Three as my dogs sides. is I think a little. Over, I think it's a bit much. I, I'll tell you, I'll two s- dogs I think is where people. It's two dogs. That's what a lot of people do. You asked me what I do. You didn't ask me what the average person does. You said specifically what do I do. Three dogs. That's you, how many you don't, I can put at, down. By the end of that third dog, you're not like, oh. Like, know? everything about you is not like, you don't have the meat sweats and your stomach's trying to, <laughs> trying, to trying to fucking no. digest these things. I buy things a quality hot dog myself. You, 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 you eat one hot dog. If I eat one hot dog, I'm burping up a hot dog. I'm not kidding you. If I eat a hot dog on Monday afternoon, Thursday I'll burping, oh God, that hot Sounds dog Sounds like Monday. you're not eating quality hot dogs or you are you have a digestive issue. What's the, um, what, your dad said ballpark franks? He says that he likes the 100% beef ballpark is that, is that a quality hot dog in your opinion? I don't eat ballparks. But what's a quality hot dog in your opinion? Uh, I love the Applegate. I, I look for I, I look for an uncured, no nitrates added dog if I can find one. If I can't find an uncured, I'll go cured. But like something with no, I look for little ingredients. Okay, just like you would with a sausage. If you go to buy an Italian sausage, you look for a brand that, that doesn't have a shitload of ingredients in it, and you go, all right, this is this is as good as you're gonna get. You know, that's what I look for. But a ballpark, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not batting my, I'm not waving my, turning my nose to but it. You, you, you must know that I probably have had a fine dog. I'll eat a hot, I'll eat Not a, every dog I've had has been trash. I'll eat an Oscar Mayer cheese dog. I love those. You just said you eat top quality I'm dogs. I'm saying, I'm saying I'll, I'll go at all of them. You're asking me if what I prefer that makes me feel like less guilty about the indulgence. I'll look for a non-cured, no nitrates, but I will eat other dogs. <laughs> I, I'm telling you right now. Oh, Wait, that's, is there a cheese in this hot dog? Yeah, yeah. So that's good. disgusting, it's man. So good, dude. You're talking about processed it's cheese so inside processed oh. meat. I don't care. Then so you good. bite that thing, and then it, it just so basically good. shoots cheese all over your face. So good, dude. Oh, that looks so gross. Look at that. It's so good. I probably, I'm sure that's it is. the ham one. That's I'm not sure the it's hot like dog. guilty good, but like. I don't want to bite into a hot dog and have like liquid ooze out on on me. You know, like because oh, you haven't done it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm telling you, if you do it, you're gonna like it. <laughs> I'll tell you the biggest problem with chicken fingers: if you don't have a good dipping sauce, you're out. If you have a good hot dog, you can eat it without without anything on it. 
Uh, and anything you put on it is probably only going to enhance. Some people say deplete from the experience. Chicken fingers, if you do not have good dipping sauce, there's no way you're eating more than How two. How could you go ahead and you're say not, that when not. you can tell me that, oh, you're just eating bad hot dogs? And I'm going to give you the same argument back that you're just eating bad chicken fingers. When I have a perfectly breaded, juicy, succulent chicken finger, I could eat it without a sauce. I've done that my whole life. Your whole life. My whole life. Your whole life. My whole life. Your whole life. So you're yeah. going into a bar. I'm not like you. I was eating chicken fingers at three, not turf. <laughs> not well, surf and turf. I'll tell you the other the other tell that the hot dog is the superior food. Number one, there's hot dog eating contests everywhere. Oh, you that's it. The chicken finger that's eating it. contest. No, that's it. Yeah, no, it, it means it's popular enough that you can base a contest around it. I got pie eating contest. What other food are contests are there? Pie eating, hot dog eating. Two hugely popular foods. There's no chicken fingers eating I do contest. Not, I do not even think you're going to be. I think you you are not going to win this. I think chicken finger. Guys. A Nathan's uh, just, dog. Have you ever just, had a Nathan's? Yeah, I watch this every single year. Kobayashi, Johnny Sunshets, whatever his name is. Hot Wings is another ch- uh, t- uh, food eating contest. Let me ask you guys. Just just in general, do you think, because they're both big, big foods. What do you think is the, uh, is the uh, favorite out of these two? Do you think it is hot dog? I, ha- I happen to think that chicken fingers are appeal to way more people than hot dogs do. I thought that. I anyway. think more people live their lives on chicken fingers. Correct. Than hot dogs. Yeah. yeah, people. I mean, that's the go-to. You go to a diner, you, chicken fingers. You don't order a hot dog in a diner. Let me tell you. You go something. to you go to McDonald's. There's you get no, chicken tenders. You don't get a hot dog. There's Let no me, hot dog on the dollar menu. Well, what what dollar menu? There's no chicken finger on the dollar menu. Okay. Well, even yeah. even you got nuggets on a dollar menu, even not a, fingers. Even yeah. in a real life scenario. Well, you, even in a real life scenario, if you're at a barbecue and you're throwing a dog on there, people are also throwing chicken on there. No, no, no. They're throwing chicken, not chicken fingers. Don't act like barbecues. <laughs> yeah, but they could be. Stop it. No, but they could be grilled. Stop no, it. no, no, no. I, I put, I put. Uh, what do you call that when you, when you, when you mar- not marinate? Oh when you my baste? god! I swear to God, is he going to go into unbreaded chicken fingers? Are you out of your mind? I was going to. Oh, stop it, Sal! You're reaching. You're reaching. No, that's not a chicken finger. That's a piece of chicken. Grilled okay. chicken fingers. Okay, then forget Kip, it. Look up grilled chicken fingers. I want to see if it even comes up. It's not. It's not a thing. It's not. I've never even seen it in a restaurant ever. Look at this. <laughs> chicken tenders. They call them. It's different. It's just. It just. It just exists then. No. So you're not it's gonna not. Even... That's grilled chicken tenders. Do you see grilled chicken fingers anywhere? Do you see bread? You, wait. You're telling me the difference between a tender and a finger? Clearly, a tender and a finger is the same thing. Chicken tender, chicken, chicken finger ten- versus tender. Chicken tender refers to chicken prepared from the more tender part of chicken, commonly uh, the whatever that says. The which is, <laughs> on the other hand, chicken fingers refers to strips of chicken meat derived from the chicken breast or the inner breast muscle. There's your difference. There's no such thing as a breadless chicken finger because if there was, it would have came up as breadless chicken finger and not chicken tenders. Let's go to some of these stats. What's your? What's the most one to one to hit us first? Popularity? Yeah. Popularity. Statistics reported that 182.91 million Americans used frozen fried chicken in 2018. 73 million Americans consumed chicken nuggets in 2020. According to the statistics, 255 million Americans consumed frankfurters and hot dogs in 2020. So by that stat alone, it looks like you're the more popular food. Okay. Well, and- can I say something else? Let me ask too? you something. What's the, what's the difference between a hot dog and a frankfurter? Frankfurter. And then also, how did it get the name hot dog? Well, hot dog's here. Can I tell you something else, too? Maybe. Let me tell you something else. Because these are childhood foods that become popular when you're a child in your life. And some people carry on with them throughout their lives. Some people don't. Here's the biggest difference. If you go on a date with a woman, for instance... And you, you order, you're bringing, hold on, hold on. You're hold bringing on. a date, hold on, a date with a woman into chicken let tenders versus yeah. hot dogs. Yeah, let me finish. Okay. Fingers, don't say tenders. Don't change what we're talking about to fit your bad argument. Fingers. If you go on a date with a woman and you go to get food and, and you order a hot dog to eat, she's going to think, man, this guy's old school. He's eating a hot dog. Wow. Whether she's un- whether she's is that what in- she's going to think? Unless whether she's impressed or not is besides the point. She's just going to be like, this guy's kind of old school. He's got a hot dog. If you go on a date and you order chicken fingers, she'll be like, 
I'm never having sex with this man. I, I could disagree He's a baby more. child. I, flip it, eats smack it down, the, flip it, and reverse it. She's going to go, does he Does he want the chicken shaped like stars? This child? Nobody wants to have sex with a guy that eats chicken you're, fingers. You're a lunatic. Nobody wants to. Flip it and reverse it. You, a million <laughs> people go on dates and order chicken fingers together and share them with their meal. If I went on a date what? with a woman and I sat down and the waiter came over and I go, I'll have the hot dog and whatever she's having, she would think the exact same. She's like, She wouldn't go, oh, he's old school. She would go, what the fuck is going on? She might say, He's what? ordering a hot dog she for might, dinner? She might be confused. Imagine ordering for her. She might Two be hot dogs, please. One for me and the lady. She no. might be perplexed. <laughs> she might be perplexed. She might be confused. She might think it's strange. She'll still have sex with you. Chicken fingers she will are not a have turn sex off. With you. They she are will not have sex with you. Turn if you order a hot dog, she will not have sex with you. You know what else you do? She, she may you know have sex with you. you she would share the chicken fingers. You're not going to share a hot dog. If I order chicken fingers, I'm going to have sex. You know what else is a cute You're not having sex if you order no. a hot dog. You know what else is a cute date move? We're in the park. Ooh, want to get a hot dog? Wouldn't it be fun to go to the hot dog stand? Nobody on a date goes, ooh, want to go get chicken fingers? You're in the park, though. You're in the park. You, there's hot dogs carts. That's yeah, not fair. That's how, that's how popular that food is. Oh, I, I, They've got carts of it on the street. You, on Joe, wheels. I want you. I want you to they go on to a date. You're a single it. guy. <laughs> You're in a dating pool. I want you to go on your very next date. I don't want you to say a word to the woman. I don't want you to say a word to the woman. I want you to order a hot dog from the menu for dinner. My, Let her order what she wants to order. Hands, you tell me later. If you even to touch God. your breast over the shirt. My hand to God. I will order a hot dog on the next date I'm on. You will not. Yes, I will. Don't go to Nathan's. Don't play and games. By the way, that's not me saying, and I will have sex at the end of that day. I'm <laughs> saying, I'm just saying, I will order a hot dog on that date, and I, the date will will let, be successful let, or unsuccessful, but not based on that hot dog. I will. Yes, we, it will. We need photo proof. Yes. All right. You you cannot you cannot let the not date know. Not only will I get you photo you proof, let the date know. Not only will I get you photo proof, I. I promise you I can get you photo proof that she thinks it's endearing that I'm eating a hot dog. Oh, you're full of shit. How can you get photo proof that your date thinks it's endearing that you're eating a hot dog? How? How can you get photo Picture proof? Of smiling with a hot dog. Oh, uh, you're not supposed to say anything I, to her. I, I, I gotta say I'm ordering a hot dog. And then and you think I'll say take a selfie wait, with wait, a hot wait, dog. It'll be fun. <laughs> you think you're gonna order a hot dog and then snap a candid photo of her delighted that you did it? I said, let's take a selfie with the hot dog. <laughs> Why not? You, you that's no, not you know what? that's not We want you to lady and tramp the hot dog. All right. Oh my god. All right. I, I sometimes I can't. I, can't. I can do it. I can't do it with this kid. Sometimes 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 I promise you, I can pull off a lady in a trip photo with a woman who has not heard this episode of a hot dog between our lips. I don't think that, you know. Look, look, man. All I'm saying is, if you're an adult, you're an adult. Look, you let people walk in the house with shoes. You're an adult, right? Yeah, yeah. You go on a date and it's at a it's at a regular place, and you go. First of all, a regular place isn't going to have a hot dog, if we're being honest. You have to go to like a, re a very like, you know, oh, I like gotta casual. I got to find a hot dog. I get it. Casual place. I get it. It ain't going to be a problem, babe. They're on every corner. That's how popular No, if you're going to go to a place that, that has you, you know, a bunch of hot stone, dogs on the menu. You're a hot dog vendor in No, this no. I don't, you don't go with her to a hot dog cart. That's normalizing it. I go wherever it. I want to go. You said, if you, <laughs> ordered, the hot you dog. said you, if you ordered a hot dog off the menu, you're changing the game now. Go to a regular restaurant and ask for a hot dog. I gotta be somewhere that has hot dogs. Well, if you're gonna go to a hot dog restaurant, it's not gonna be weird that you order a hot dog. What? I'm not gonna go to a hot dog restaurant. If you go to a hot dog cart, <laughs> I will spring the hot dog on her out of nowhere. So if we're walking by Joe, a cart, I'm gonna go Joe. like this. I'm gonna go. Joe, you can't. If you say to someone, uh, "Hey, you want to grab a hot dog from the hot dog cart?" That's normal. No, no, that's is, normal. You said to me, okay. that if you're on a date with a woman and you order a hot dog then I'll at take dinner her, then off the then I, off then the I'll menu, take her to a diner, which is going to put me in uh, the underhanded position or under <laughs> dog <laughs> position to begin with, because it's going to look like I'm being cheap. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're about to eat fucking ass and lips in a fucking link. <laughs> what do you mean? You're about you're ordering a dollar meal. This is supposed to come from. I know. Go to a diner. Let her order first. Oh, she should order first or second. Here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. I will go to a real restaurant, and during the real meal, I'm gonna go. I'm craving a hot dog. I want to get a hot dog after this. No, 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 no. What you're doing? I'm going to get a hot dog. What you're doing? What you're doing right there, and self-admittedly doing, is you are. 
you're prepping. You're you're you're, you're, I'll say you're making I, order. You're I bracing her, her and you're making it okay. I'll say you're, you're, you're they ashamed. Order. You're ashamed. I'll say before you're, I you're order. ashamed. You got you go, I think you know what I think this is crazy. Crazy <laughs> idea. No, crazy. But I think I might want to. This is what I'll do. I'm giving you. You're normalizing it. I'm giving. This is what I'll do. You know, sweater. I wish they had hot dogs here. I would eat hot dogs. No, right now. no dogs. qualifiers. It's not a no, qualifier. yes, it is. She, the waitress says, "Hi, I'm June. I'll be a servant tonight. What would you like? You go. I have the hot dog, please, and shut the fuck up. Where am I going to go that has hot dogs for don't dinner? Don't do it. Don't do a fucking song and dance. You know what? I'm, you know what? Then we got to eat at the cart. That's what I'm saying. No, go to a diner, order a hot dog, say nothing of it. I can't take a first date to a diner. It's going to look insane. Oh, but you can order a hot dog on the <laughs> first date. That's the point. Is that the hot dog part? I think I can this do. Is not you're how you, it's not how you brought here. it up. It's not how you brought it up. You said you'd order a hot dog off the menu. Now you go into a cart. Now you're going. You know. You want to hear you something wild? I'll find. A, I'll find a, I'll I might find, order a dog. I'll find a place that has like 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 you know gourmet. Uh, bar food or whatever. To I think, no, I think that normalizes. I it. think we're overlooking one thing. She might not look at it as old school and attractive. She might think she can fix you. Right. Hey, God bless. <laughs> Nobody's fixing chicken fingers. <laughs> Nobody's fixing chicken fingers. You will look like an ass chicken. if you eat them on a date. No. You, as a matter of fact, not only will you look like not look like an ass, but I think that many dates, especially of younger people, are chicken fingers at the gate. Out the gate. Sharing them as a meal or, or, or ordering them to pick on for the table. I have a question. You want, if you ordered chicken fingers, not a single person would have a bad an eyelash on a date. If you say, I'll have a hot dog at a restaurant, she's going to be like, oh, I don't know what I'm getting myself into here. No restaurant has hot dogs. Oh, you, you said they did. <laughs> the eight best foods to order on a first date. Here we go. Let's see them. I'm sweating my fucking balls yeah, off Yeah, maybe you could take... <laughs> I was gonna. I gotta put you. the air on because I, I didn't gonna expect this was gonna get heated. Well, listen, the insults really got this I was fucking gonna, heated. I was gonna ask you if you could take some of that money you're saving on your floor cleaning <laughs> and put it into air conditioning in this no, place because I'm sweating my ass off. I don't need right to now. clean my floors because everyone's just touching it with soft cotton. That's my ju- that's my point is that you're not spending any money on cleaning the floor. Chicken is one of the chicken, uh, not the, chicken fingers, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Risotto. What is this list? quesadilla i'm gonna talk about ultimate ears some really cool new headphones out there on the market uh here's the thing i use technology daily i cannot think of an hour in the day where i'm not using my macbook pro or my ipad or my iphone and it's not just for fun it's for work and a lot of it is is administrative stuff and and work related stuff that you have to do while you're at home at least for me that's how it is so it's very important to me to have a device that i can switch freely easily from thing to thing with but i will tell you even more what if you have those buds in all day because my buds that came on my phone fall out all the time and then the other pair i have are actually too big and they're they, they're hurt and that's hurt. what's that's what's cool about the ultimate ears they mold to your ear yeah they're <laughs> true wireless custom fit earbuds and they they come it's really cool and you actually put the mold in and they go exactly to your shape yeah so that it is a perfect fit bespoke to your ear it creates holes. a custom fit you put them in and you follow the steps in the app and you can feel them forming uh it actually gets warm as the as the uh i guess rubber or whatever it is the material sort of molding to the shape of your ear and that's it you put them in and i also like you pop it in you turn it and it kind of like locks it in in a certain way very cool great sound also not like crazy noise canceling sound which has always been freaky to me i've never been a big fan of that style of earbud uh, you get a guaranteed perfect fit in 60 seconds. Ultimate Ears fits and will stay put when you're on the go. Eight hours of continuous playback on a single charge. 20 hours, up to 20 hours with the charging case. Ultimate Ears fits are perfect for listening to your favorite shows like ours. You can set custom uh EQ presets as well, yeah. which uh, you cannot do on most yeah. most other earbuds at all. I, I don't even know an earbud that you can do that no, with. No, I agree. So use the promo code TASTEBUDS at ue.com slash fits to get your pair of UE fits. That's ue.com slash fits, promo code TASTEBUDS. Try the fits. If you don't love them as much as we do, no worries. Ultimate Ears offers a 30-day money-back guarantee. Plus, you're going to get free shipping, free returns, and a one-year warranty. Here's how you get that. Use your promo code TASTEBUDS at ue.com slash fits. 
and get your pair of UE Fits with these benefits I just mentioned. Go to ue.com slash fits, promo code TASTEBUDS. Folks, we got a new cereal sponsor. They're called Catalina Crunch. Yeah, baby. Pretty cool, right? Yes. I uh, only there's yeah, I just only recently got into this. Yeah, it's new to me. Very, very new to me. But I have tried it and I've been eating it for a bit and I like it. I like what, what it's doing. It's one of these cereals that is letting you eat cereal again. Which I stopped. Cereal is my favorite the, food. Yeah, yeah. I stopped it. I was just on vacation. I just ate sugar cereal, which I haven't done in a long time. But this is zero sugar, low carb, keto friendly. Uh, they, they have tons of flavors, and you can buy a variety pack if you want to see which one you like uh, first. Um, and most, by the way, most zero sugar, not just zero sugar, sugar cereals, but most zero sugar foods they don't, don't taste no, good. No, they, they did this the right way. It, it's actually delicious. Uh, 11 also, grams yeah. of plant-based protein and 9 grams of fiber. So well, you can't really go wrong there at all. It's actually... A lot of flavors. Eight, I think eight or so. They got cinnamon toast. They got chocolate, uh, dark chocolate. They got a, a chocolate peanut butter, which I like. Uh, so, you know, if you're not sure, by the way, which one you want to try first, you can get a variety pack as well. It's gluten-free. It's grain-free. It's non-GMO. Only real, only clean ingredients, nothing artificial. So here's what you're going to do. We want you to see why Catalina's Crunch Cereal is the fastest growing cereal brand in America. Go to CatalinaCrunch.com slash taste buds for 15% off your first order. Plus free shipping. That's Catalina with a C, Crunch.com slash taste buds. Not sure what flavor to start with. They Again, said, try that variety pack, there people. You go. And check out their delicious cookies and snack mixes while you're at it. Oh. CatalinaCrunch.com slash taste buds for 15% off your first order. Plus, free shipping. All right. can, can we go back with him for a moment? Uh, the term dog has been just, I want you to answer to this because it's definitely true. The term dog has been used as a synonym for sausage since the 800s, possibly uh, from accusations that sausage makers use dog meat in their sausages. Yeah, in the 1700s? Who cares? I mean, what are we talking about? <laughs> in Germany, the consumption of dog meat was common. Uh, the suspicion that sausages contained dog meat was occasionally justified. So the reason that you're eating something called a hot dog is because back in the day, they've only just, you're only a few, you're only a few a few th a few ingredients removed from dog bro it used to be dog now no, it's no, not no. dog it it but it started accusation. with dog it says it was a theory that it might have been dog it start, it's so you're eating the descendant you're eating the ancestor you're eating the evolution no. of dog that's meat ridiculous. that's what you're eating that's ridiculous. it's like well we can't give people dog meat it's frowned upon what right, else can we give chicken well, sweep fingers. that shit up put it through the grinder which chicken we'll fingers the derive from we'll give which them the hooves which chicken fingers derive from aside from the hackiest joke of all time <laughs> that must have been some big chicken Look at its fingers. Scotland, how are they? As Scott began immigration, you have to read those so people can understand what you're Look saying. Look at this. Chicken fingers gained popularity in the mid to late 1980s, known also as one of the worst periods of the country. Period. One of the worst Why periods. Why is the mid 1980s one of the worst periods of the country? It's everyone's uh, favorite. Reagan president, Reagan. The, Jordan, the Bush president, economy just fucking going down. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, you're uh, connecting art. chicken fingers popularity in the mid 80s to Reaganomics? Nobody ever Why? looks. Nobody, nobody ever looks back at the 80s and goes, that was a real brilliant time in this country. <laughs> the eighties is the eighties is arguably top three most romanticized decade of all time. Top two possible. Right, listen, I got no beef with the eighties. You know me. I love the eighties. All right, but it's not a it's not it's not romanticized for its brilliance. It wasn't the Renaissance in the what, United what States. What does this have to do with chicken? No, I'm saying it, it was it was like they blame the eighties for like the 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 influx of fast food and like the diet going to shit in this country. All that you're stuff. arguing for a dog, bro, a hot dog. I'm just telling you that's when you're. That's when your food came into prominence. Mine's been around since Kings. Do you understand? Do you understand? <laughs> Hot dogs were fit for royalty, it said on one of the pages we were just on. Not to mention pigs in a blanket, the greatest cocktail food of all time. Bro, back the Which, fuck up. We if, already, you don't, if I can't bring in a grilled chicken tender... You can't bring in a pigs in a blanket. No, nope. it's not a hot dog. I can. It was just no, like you said. Not. A Belgian waffle was a waffle. Yeah, a and you said a crepe was a dog. pancake. Yeah, so well, whatever you want to do. All right, let's go to the phones. You, you know, know how many? Fo uh, hold on. Just one last My thing. My biggest fan. A hot dog burp is the worst burp known to man. 
Yes or no? True yeah. or false? Oh, what, oh. It's the worst burp there is. Just saying that. No one's like, oh, gee, chicken fingers. Okay, and I'll you- tell you, I'll tell you what. <laughs> a ranch stain on your shirt from your chicken finger dripping is the worst stain known to man. When I, you could have any stain on your shirt if you go. It's ranch. I'm like you, piece of shit. <laughs> it's just garbage. I don't I'd eat ranch. You say it's blood. I'd rather you go. It's I a don't blood eat ranch stain though. Than saying it's a ranch thing. I don't eat ranch for my chicken. But fingers. a lot of people do, and that's what I'm telling you. All right, a lot of people give. You know how many? F- the, Tonka is very sweet, and she's probably my biggest fan. She says, "You know how many foods are shaped like dicks? The best kinds." Shout out. Tonka. Her name is not Tonka, by the way. That's a reference to my show. I oh. played a character named Tonka Jahari. Oh, so Cherish. I'm yeah. sorry. Oh, okay, Cherish. Uh, uh, food shaped like a dick. Wait, how many foods shaped like a dick? The best kinds. All right. Shout out, hot dogs. If hot dogs, worst part of the animal, ground up and shoved into its own intestines, and top of it all, let's make it dick shaped. That's what I'm saying, bro. Oh, look at that. There's a picture of Sal eating a hot dog. <laughs> I'm not eating a hot dog. I'm making one because I worked yeah. at a hot dog cart. Yo, you mean the most, the, the, the weird carts that are all over the city for <laughs> highly demanded for food? <laughs> uh, hot dogs are like drugs you get from the sketchy friend of a friend that you can only buy because it's cheap and you don't care what's in it. You just need a fix. Uh, only the Lord knows what cu- oh the, the cut That's, a, that's a lot to describe the hot dog. Yeah. The best hot dogs are as good as the best chicken fingers, but the worst hot dog makes you want to bleach your own insides. True. I can't argue with that. Chicken fingers and what? Barbecue sauce with hot dogs? Condiments are endless. Kraut. Oh, my God. He's right. Jesus. Tremendous. He's right. You didn't even bring in bacon any of wrapped that. hot dogs. Oh, the Chicago dog with the hot peppers. All right. Fried chicken with a multitude of sauces versus animal intestines on a dirty, shitty roll. There's one choice here. Whoever got roped into having to take hot dogs in this battle must have known what was coming to them, but no moral victories for the buds. There you go. Did chicken you, all day. Did you even mention corn dogs? It's kind of like best of both worlds. Yeah, corn dogs are great. It's on a well, stick. Well, a hot dog is a hot dog. A corn dog is a corn dog. Fair enough. If you step up to a menu and say, I'll have a hot dog, then I'll hand you a corn dog. All right, fair enough, fair enough. I voted chicken fingers, but immediately regret that. I do a Michigan Coney over chicken fingers all day. Way more versatility in a hot dog. Absolutely. That's what I'm saying. Processed hooves over delightly, delightfully crispy breading. Oh, yeah. Chickens don't even have fingers. This is just like a gaggle of hacky commentaries Let's on see. both foods. Anus, snout, odds, and ends. Yeah, I'll take chicken fingers. I mean, that's what it boils but, down I mean, it's to. It's just everybody just keeps saying the same. Ha- it's just not even true. Like, it's the joke from the great outdoors. They're made out of lips and assholes. Like, But it's true. It's But it is true. It's true to an extent, and it was more true uh, years ago than it is now. But, I mean, it's just the fact that people are just leaning on that. Give me a break. Come on. I don't buy dirty water chicken tenders. Wow. That's a good point. That's a rake. that's a good point. That's an original point. I'm already hearing two different battles where Sal defends both hot dogs and chicken fingers. I more often will take chicken fingers over hot dogs, but sometimes I only crave the hot dogs, like right now. Uh, only people who enjoy hot dogs are children. Oh, it's just not true. It's not true. I doubt there's a hot dog version of the gift, just saying. What's the gift? That. All right. Disco chickens. <laughs> oh boy <laughs> Hot dogs are my favorite food Said no one ever If you're choosing hot dogs over chicken fingers I need you to reevaluate your life Joe's the type of person that has seen what hot dogs are made of And still chooses to defend it Good point <laughs> Hot uh, dogs are ground up lips and assholes oh God, almost, every restaurant has chi- almost every restaurant has chicken fingers on a menu For adults and kids alike That's not true. Hot dogs are very situational Ball game Kids menus is dirty water too dirty Can't argue so, Not true at all By the way Have you ever had the chicken fingers At a, at a movie theater Versus hot dogs Have you ever had the chicken fingers At a ball game Versus the hot dogs it, 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 There's not even a comparison There's not even comparison in quality I really hope Joe didn't take hot dogs This is what I mean by the way That they're guessing what I took to, And it's influencing the vote 100% no, they don't. They're not voting uh, on who they think we took. How many They're people voting on us? How many people have said already? Oh, Joe with the hot dog. How many people have said that already? We should everyone comment who's spiting spiting yeah, Joe. Yeah, it's their like votes. come on, man. You think there's spite votes? Not a thousand, sixty five episodes in. Thousand you think they're percent. guessing? They, yes. they, so they're not even sure. They're guessing, and they're going to spitefully vote. Have you seen who one? They think? Have you seen one tweet? 
That is, guess what, what you voted versus several that have I did. I did see what me. I voted. I did see me. But you've I seen... I can already see it now. Sal's saying how hot dogs are Americana. I didn't choose hot dogs. Okay, but my point is, is how many have we seen so Sal far? Sal better be fighting for a hot dog. I'm to pimp. Back me up. Am I crazy? Come on. There's like there's, there's a turf definitely war. a contingent there's a turf of war. spite vote. Yeah. Yes, that's all I'm saying. Chicken fingers are for children, but if you're eating a hot dog anywhere... But a barbecue or a baseball game, you need to take a long look in the mirror and reassess. We're not talking. Oh, this is what I hate when people say shit like this. We're not talking about what environment you're eating it in. We're talking about the actual food itself. There's a reason that hot dogs are a cornerstone at every single barbecue and every single baseball game and every single movie theater and every single state fair and every single vendor across every single city. There's a reason for that. It's because it's an awesome food. It doesn't matter if you occasionally want it or want it every day. That's irrelevant. Salty, salty, salty. Chicken fingers are available at every fucking diner because they are frozen and mass produced in a factory. I love these fucking idiots talking like chicken fingers are, are like quality food that was fished out of the ocean that's this morning and then brought for you fucking farm to table or whatever. True or false? These, it's the, one of the most processed foods on earth. They're frozen in batches and they sit in a refrigerator for a year and then you deep fry the fucking things. I, I'm not arguing the health of either. That would be ridiculous, right? All I'm saying is, more often than not, even yourself, do you have chicken fingers more often than hot dogs? No. You, yes, you do. Absolutely not. Everyone I buy does. hot dogs regularly. Do you crave- my fridge. Do you, I cook do them you myself. crave chicken fingers more than hot dogs? Almost never. Really? Almost you, never. And you know I love fried I have, chicken. I have a hot dog. I maybe have a, in the summer at barbecues, outside of the summer at barbecues, maybe at a ball game, maybe one other time. And I had to be like, oh, I can go for a hot dog. But I'm never thinking like, I want to get a hot dog tonight, ever. Ever. Thank you, David Olson. People complaining about hot dogs being processed meat, but then have the gall to vote for chicken fingers. Exactly. All right. All right. Exactly. And by the way, and by the way, it's not AKA tenders, uh, Susie K. We proved it. It's not, it's not, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, but I'm just gonna say this. I'm just gonna say this. I buy hot dogs all the time. Like, I mean, from home. I make them at home. I love hot dogs. I love fried chicken. I eat fried chicken consistently. I n- almost never get that fried chicken into the form of a chicken finger. I think chicken is one of those foods that when it's taken off the bone, it loses a great deal of quality. It dries out. It loses its juiciness. And not to m- mention that chicken fingers being made from white meat chicken, it's the toughest part of the chicken if it's not cooked right, which chicken fingers are not cooked right, okay? It's got no fat in it. I'm not going to argue this like we argue gourmet foods. I'm not arguing gourmet foods. chicken fingers versus hot dogs. I got you. So no, I don't, I never crave chicken fingers. Okay, I think you're in the minority. Nuggets, sure, because nuggets have some dark meat action going on a lot of the time. A nugget is a finger, bro. No, it's not. A nugget is for all intents and purposes. A nugget is a finger, bro. My biggest complaint about about my favorite McDonald's, my biggest complaint about Chicken McNuggets, which is one of my favorite foods on earth, is that they got rid of the dark meat nuggets. Because the dark meat nuggets kill, and that's not a chicken finger. What is a nugget then, if it's not a tender or a finger? Uh, Well, sometimes dark, it's a lot of times nuggets are taken from dark meat chicken. Which is why they're like so juicy and and whatever. So you don't you consider a chicken nugget different than a chicken finger? A hundred percent. Nuggets a lot of the time are less breaded. Chicken fingers are too fucking breaded a lot of the time. I think. All right. So do we have a winning tweet here? I, re- I you read can eat this. Chick- you can eat chicken fingers at parties with friends. When I eat hot dogs, I don't like talking about it. All right. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, give it to Jeff. Follow at Mr. Green Arrow. And let's go to the polls. Humble All right, let's pie. go to the phones. Humble it's pie. the Humble Pie Humble segment. Pie. Drum roll it. Maybe a pot and pan. Refresh. Let's do it. We're at, we're at 13, yeah. We're at 13,000 votes. <laughs> uh, I think we're going to lose. That's for the, the uh, results and for the frontline worker. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Given the comments, I think I'm going to lose, but let's see. I, I, I honestly think, I don't know what you were thinking. I think Chicken Figures is a powerhouse. Oh my oh god, god, that's dude. ridiculous! Oh, is it? That's or did ridiculous. you just did your world just crash down around you? It didn't crash down on me. I yeah, just, go order a hot dog on a date, you moron! I just <laughs> I just realize every week how many fans we have. <laughs> they didn't know I was choosing chicken just, fingers. No, no, it's not that. Stop! I just realize every week how many fans we have that live in states <laughs> where a good restaurant is considered Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell. You can tell. Wouldn't that, that make hot dogs? The way they wouldn't lead. that make hot no, dogs Applebee's stronger for you? Have hot dogs. Applebee's hot dogs are more of a city food, and we know it. The uh, a hot dog is a city food. People were saying you can get chicken fingers on any menu. 
Name five restaurants off the top of your head that sell chicken figures that aren't KFC or Popeyes. Nah, you go to a, you go to a, a diner, a bar and grill. A bar and grill has them all the time. All right, a bar and grill. Yeah, that's one. But they don't have hot dogs on menus. No bar and grill. Nobody has. Here. They have hamburger sections. They do not have hot dog sections. I know yeah. it got heated. I know it got heated. But let me just talk. Can I go back to that percentage, please? Because I want to just put it on the bottom here. It's it's a drubbing. It's a drubbing, and it is a big, it's a lopsided Vic. It's 13,200 votes at the moment, 70.7% for chicken fingers, 29.3% for hot dogs. It wasn't even close. All right. Well, there you go. I still love you, babe. Love you, too. Taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic, I'm talking taste buds. Taste buds. Taste buds. Taste buds.